Joe, many, many congratulations. Probably one of the greatest days of your career. Yeah, uh, I would definitely say so. Um, to play Mark on such a, you know, the pinnacle of our sport, the crucible, and, and to get the result, it's just, I'm over the moon. I'm a little bit lost for words, to be honest. It was the dream start yesterday, but you've got so much respect for Mark, and he's such a good mate of yours. You knew if anybody could mount that comeback from 7-2 down, it was Selby. At 8-5, were you beginning to feel the nerves? Um, not really. Um, sort of expected it. Uh, I got off to a little bit of a slow start. Um, I knew it would be a different mark than it was yesterday. You know, it didn't feel like he was he was there yesterday, wasn't playing great. Um, so I knew I knew he'd go back and come back with, you know, the vengeance really. Um, but yeah, no, it's just nice to sort of keep him at arm's length and, and just sort of trickle over the line. In a way, do you think the fact that you are such good mates and he's such a nice bloke, did that take away the intimidation factor? Because at times, were you able to trick yourself into just thinking that you were in a practice session? Um, maybe. I never really thought of it like that. Um, but maybe subconsciously, you know, it was a little bit easier because obviously I know Mark so well and, you know, I've played him in practice loads of times. And yeah, maybe that helped the occasion. Um, but I just try to relish it as much as I can, you know. I came here to enjoy the match, you know, and just concentrate on my own game, and, and that got me through, so. Your temperament for a debut reminds me very much of the likes of an Anthony McGill or a Jack Jones, who's obviously still in it this year with a great victory over uh, Zhang Anda. When Jack came for his debut last year, he's a very calm, very measured, very composed player. So's Anthony McGill, and he generally produces his best here. I think you've got the right temperament for this stage. You looked calm. Yeah, I, fe I felt fine. Um, weren't any nerves really up until sort of the last couple of balls, you know, to, to get over the line. Um, I, li I like it out there, you know, I enjoyed it. Um, and I can't wait to go out there again. And it, it seemed like it was such a massive occasion for your whole family. As I came in yesterday before the first session, your granddad was coming up the <laughs> stairs trying to work out where he was supposed to go. Your sister was there guiding me. In. I mean, a Crucible debut is a massive moment, not just for the player, but for his entire family, isn't it? Yeah, you know, it's, it's a, such a big moment in my career. Um, all my family, you know, have been there from the very start and... I suppose to them, you know, just to little old Joe, you know, that played pool and won a few comps, you know, now walking out in, in the Crucible is, is quite, um, you know, it's, proud, it's a proud moment for them, you know, and I've not got to speak to them yet, but I'm, assu I'm assuming that they're very proud. And now are you going back to Leicester to get away from the spotlight before you come back for either... Dominic Dale or Kyron Wilson in the second round. Will you go uh, home? Yeah, I will be going home. Uh, probably come back Friday, get a couple of days in practice, missed a couple of balls, so I need to work on a couple. Um, but yeah, no, I'll go home and then come back Friday. Recharged. I, and well, listen, many, many congratulations. You've beaten a fabulous bloke, one of the all-time greats, and now you get to experience a second match. The dream debut continues. Thank you.